You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where it's time for something very different on the channel this evening. Something very spooky. Yes, we're here down in London, around 171 miles away from the Alton Towers Resort. But we've been invited by Alton Towers to an event down here on the outskirts of London, right near Canary Wharf, actually, that relates to the new attraction for this year, the Curse at Alton Manor. So we're going to be visiting a big, like, pop-up doll's house, but we don't know what we're going to be experiencing inside. Yeah, it sounds quite intriguing. Obviously, the park have invited us down tonight to come and see this it's open from eight o'clock through until 10 it's a press night for it tonight we also believe it's open tomorrow at the time of recording as well so obviously the day when this video has gone online uh, for people to come down here too but yeah it's, it's all sold out very quickly yeah, didn't it's it completely sold out so yeah they're literally running this for tonight for the press night and then from tomorrow from 8 a.m through until two and we really don't know what to expect I other don't than the fact clue. that this is promoting the new attraction at alton towers and also the fact it's a big doll's house i'm That's hoping here why more of the backstory something like that that's what i'm hoping for i mean i think the reason why they've done it in london is probably because they've invited a lot of celebrities and alton towers of course you know it's in the middle of nowhere isn't it up in the beautiful staffordshire countryside they probably thought they'd get a lot of celebrities and things who are around in london to come and see this but we've made our way we're not even right in the center no, we're, um, we're out by canary wharf we just got on the dlr down here about a 20 minute ride out of central london and we've come down to a park tonight yeah, it's like mud shoot park <laughs> you have to come and have a look so we just got off at the station we're going to walk around there now and and we will see what we can expect. But yeah, it's really weird thinking that Alton Towers are promoting their new ride so over 170 miles right. away. But let's go and see what this is like. We don't have a clue what to expect. Uh, but come and join us as we check out this giant doll's house that's promoting the curse at Alton Manor. Here we go then. So we've just come around the corner and we've made it here to this gate. Took a while to find it, but yeah, it's very atmospheric around here. I told you we're close to Canary Wharf. That's just over there. And of course, we've got the creepy doll just out the front here as well. But yeah, we found this sign for the curse at Alton Manor. And just over here on the left, we've got another creepy doll. And down here, a nice sign as well, giving you a bit of information. Filming, recording and photography may take place in this venue. We've been told that we can film throughout the experience and we're going to be looking for clues as well tonight, which of course is going to, uh, yeah, hopefully hint towards what we're going to expect from this new dark ride at Alton Towers. Let's go inside. Oh, here we go then. So we're making our way over to the giant doll's house that we can see just there. We've got the Alton Towers Resort logo oh, just yeah. here. Some candles. Is that like a little birdcage or something down there as well? Obviously, we're looking out for little Easter eggs that are going to relate to the ride. A nice postcard and a rose. Hey, we'll show you that when we've got a bit more yeah, light as well. But yeah, look at this. We're about to be led over there and have a bit of an explore around. Look at this. Here we go. Making our way over to the house. This is really creepy. It is creepy. This big doll's house built here just outside Canary Wharf. Oh, oh, look at the size of this. <laughs> hey, the curse at Alton Manor and the logo there on the front. Oh, this is the music playing from the teaser. Oh, look at this. Very atmospheric, this thing. Oh, we're going in through the fireplace, Charlotte. We need to look for clues. <laughs> move things is that what we need to do look things we're told to look for clues does that mean we can, can we move bits yeah i think so very creepy yeah does this lift up yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh you're a jack in the box happy valentine's day by the way charlotte yeah <laughs> what is going on so you gotta move the oh here we go what have we got this here happy birthday cards just here here we go. Really interesting this is. Lots to see. So we've been told we've got about 10 minutes to walk around the house and see as much as we can. I don't know if we go upstairs or not. I'm really not sure. Too. Find us down there. Look at this. Here we go. Rusty Draper hits that sold a million. We've been told there's loads of Easter eggs and little clues just in here. 2 dollars I think they've been down the charity shop. Got some of this. This is really creepy in here. So we're actually going in through the fireplace. Is that a sign? When we go into the attraction, are we going to walk through the fireplace or should I say ride through the fireplace? Oh, here we go, Charlotte. What's it say on these walls just in here? A alone. It said, oh, oh, here we, here we go. Wait till gone, all gone. Please play with me just down there. <laughs> play with me. That was me, right? It was my bag. <laughs> with me please play with me monster just up there 12 what's that mean 12 just on there we told us clues in here are we oh, going to yeah, find out an, an opening day i'm not sure bye just down there 
12. What does the 12 mean? I, re I really don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's 21 backwards. There we go. <laughs> do, do we go up the stairs or, um, or do we just, is it just downstairs? Can we go upstairs? I don't know. I don't want to look back. Yeah. under there. I can just tell. There's what? <laughs> 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 You're on it. Oh, there we go. I'll pop that back. Yeah. Hello. Do you, do you have any information for us? I can't tell you anything. Oh, can't nothing. Tell us there we go. What's this little picture just over here, aren't it? There we go. We told them we got some clues. C, C A. There we go. We're just looking for clues, aren't we? In the mirror just here. Yeah, hey, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Hello. Yeah. I, I just think do more stuff move? Or does it move out of the way? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want it to fall off. I'm trying to find like an opening day like hidden behind somewhere or something like that. I'm really not too sure. What have you got down there, Charlotte? Oh, it's hey, yeah, it's just a sign. <laughs> There you go. I think, I think let's have another look around in that first room, Charlotte. There's a picture oh. of a weird man. There you go. What, has he got any... Uh, it says 1407. 07 or 01. Oh, so there. 1407. Oh, that doesn't make the 14th of July. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine? I don't think we can wait till that long. Let's have another look around here, Charlotte. Yeah, let's go around again. Here we go. See what other things that we can see. Yeah. <laughs> what else is in this first room? Oh, there we go. It was real. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I'm trying to find some more little... Oh, is that a picture? There we go, that's a picture of the front. The lighting's not great, there you go, you can see that. Oh, a picture of the man of us there. He's nice, isn't he? Oh, there you go. Oh, 5E on there. Five e. I'm trying to work out what, what, what are all these, no all these details. There you go. Nice picture just there, though, of Emily Alton just there. Actually, that looks like the old banqueting hall in the right, in fact, it is. If we, oh, I'm trying to clear it up a bit. That's Emily Alton, that chandelier was where like, the monster in Jewel used to come round. And you can tell by when you look at the flooring just there, this looks really interesting. Like, you tell, that's the scene. On another note, the lady at the beginning gave us a story of she was selling this house and um, wanted to just travel around for clues and stuff. Yeah, like she wants to get out. She's from Sparks Estates, and obviously yeah. that actually goes back to Sparks Creative, some of the original designers yeah. of the haunted house. But let's see uh, so if there's anything else in here. Really interesting. Very atmospheric. I like the music, Lou. Look at this. <laughs> And here we go, here's a look just out the front again. We've just walked through again to see if we can find any clues. Mm -hmm. I just thought I'd show you the upper level just there. We've got a cot, a rocking horse, some ducks just there as well. Do they relate to the flume? <laughs> and a whole Alton Towers classic. Maybe. There we go, look at this. Oh, here he is, just down there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the shaping of this. It reminds me, of course, of the facade for the old dual attraction and now going to be the curse at Alton Manor. Very exciting. Yeah, what a, a great front just here. Well, there we go then. We've had a good explore around the giant doll's house and seen lots of different things and some clues along the way as well. We did. So at the beginning, we were given a postcard and a rose telling us to go and play inside. Yeah, really interesting. A nice little keep safe as well from the experience. I love things like that. And it's great that Alton Towers have put on this event, something very different. Of course, we didn't really know at all what to expect we from this tonight. We were just going in and just didn't have a clue, but I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. It's nice to see Alton Towers doing something a little bit different. And yeah, of course, we went and explored around the giant doll's house looking for lots of different clues and we saw lots of different things and easter eggs throughout as well there was just so much going on like moving stuff and then finding dates on walls and everything like that yeah we were told to like move lots of different items out of the way move as much as you wanted to a bit like an escape room it kind it of felt like, like that, yeah and obviously we saw lots of different things obviously what well, the first thing we really noticed it was a bit quirky and different was the ducks that were on the yeah, uh, on the top quite cool, wasn't uh, it? are they a reference are we going to maybe see some alton town as Easter eggs inside this attraction. I mean, they look like ducks from maybe the flume, yeah, you know, they do. an old Alton Towers ride. So maybe is that a hint towards um, old piece of theming and props from other rides being placed into Alton Manor, possibly? I have no idea. Of course, we went through a fireplace as well. I think there's going to be something relating to the ride there. Uh, whether it's in the queue line or on the attraction itself, I'll probably say on the ride. Maybe we're going to actually go through a giant fireplace. It felt very much like the attic in certain places. It did, and obviously that's a scare maze that Alton Towers have had 
had for a few years now as part of Scarefest and some of the props there I think they've actually got from I the attic so as well um, but then of course yeah we made our way through lots of different writing on the walls and we were told there were some clues to find out and um, we couldn't really see loads in there at first as you saw however when we came out discussed with other people and then went back in again we managed to find a certain date didn't we? We did indeed March the 18th. There we go so that looks like that's going to be the opening date for the curse at Alton Manor so yeah opening day for the 2023 season is when we can expect to head inside Alton Manor and see exactly what they've done this big transformation from Jewel into this. I'm actually really looking forward to it. So am I they're putting a lot of effort with the experience tonight we really enjoyed it I just want to say a huge thank you thank to Alton you. Towers for inviting us down here to London um, 171 miles away to be precise <laughs> from Alton Towers to come and see this a little bit different we really enjoyed it and hopefully there's a sign of Alton Towers to do more things I'd like, like this. I so. Yeah since Wicker Man in 2018 we've not really seen them doing many things like this so it's great to see and uh, I look forward to seeing what they do in the future. But yeah, it was really good fun with the actors, the theming. I hope we see that doll's house again, actually. I'd like to hope so. Yeah, yeah like, it's, it's, it's really, really good. Well yeah, like all the wooden panels on the door, some nice references as well to the facade for Alton Manor as well. We like the little crosses that you can see on the roof of the building. It was just really well done, nicely put together. Small little walkthrough attraction, but actually it was more of an experience it tonight. Was... Seeing it at night and really quirky with Canary Wharf in the background. We really enjoyed it and it's built up the hype and got us very excited for March the 18th and the opening day of The Curse at Alton Manor. But here on Theme Park Worldwide, stay tuned for all the latest updates. Uh, coming up next, we'll be taking a look at the world of Jumanji and also starting our Project Exodus uh, construction series oh, as well. very exciting. Yeah, lots going on in the industry at the moment and we can't wait to cover it here on the channel. We're here from London. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all in tomorrow's vlog. <laughs>